so awesome. I can't wait to get a single. She's wonderful. She's the best singer I've ever heard. She's amazing! <laughs> she was a girl who wanted one thing to sing in front of thousands at whatever cost. But would she pay the ultimate price? Her life. Find out in the horrifying I spit on your iPod. The bustling metropolis of Scarborough has survived terrors beyond imagination. But a horrific plague that will leave you quaking in your seats may be its downfall in the shocking on your iPod. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stephen, my throat is sore. There's nothing I could do about it. Dabby, sort it out. Just because you want Z Factor does not mean you're above working for me. I want you to sort this out now. I don't care how, sort it out. Well, I'm going to go and make a drink to soothe it. I don't care, Daddy. This is costing me a fortune. Sort it out. <laughs> One happy accident with a cure for a sore throat leads to the roller coaster ride that will have you screaming in terror in I Spit on Your iPod. That was wonderful, Dabby. I've never heard such a hypnotizing performance. Now get out! This is it, Stacy. The one I've been searching for. This, with this amazing track, I will be able to take over the world! <laughs> A madman, hell-bent on twisting the world to fit his own perverted imagination and leases chaos upon us all. You've never seen anything as sickening as... No! I spit on your iPod. Oh, Daddy. What a pleasant surprise. Hello, Daddy. How are you? Oh, you know, the usual. Post office, piles, pestering young women. How's my little superstar? I'm exhausted. Oh, Daddy, you won't believe how exhausting the last few weeks have been. But it's amazing, though. Oh, your mother would be so proud. God rest her cursed soul. I know, Dad, thanks. Your mother would have had a fit, I tell you, the way things are today. Mm. Have you seen the news? Gangs of people roaming the streets, attacking each other. Mm. Your mother would have sorted that out. Mm. I know, Dad, I know. How about a cuppa? Now you're talking my language. Mm. Put the kettle on. Oh, Daddy, I almost forgot to tell you the reason I came round in the first place. My super-duper debut single is playing on TV any moment. I thought we could watch it together. Oh, Daddy, that's wonderful. I haven't been this proud of you since you were given the key to the city for battling those Nazi airships mm, that were after Scarborough's plentiful gold reserves. Mm. Oh, Daddy, that was a long time ago. I'm going to get the kettle on before the video starts.
Einstein, you're okay. I've been watching the news and the country's mental. What's going on? Dad just tried to murder me. I had to beat him to death with a club. I'm on my way to yours now. No, Dad. It's getting worse. There are hordes of people everywhere. They're attacking people who then join their group. It's like some kind of virus. You need to get indoors and secure the building until... Dab? Dabby? No! Don't know. seems predictated rather than a conscious decision, almost as if they are being programmed to act that way. It's quite reminiscent of voodoo curses of zombification, but far more complex. I fear we may be dealing with the dark arts. A totally unpredictable beast, one I've dealt with before. Wait, are you? Yes, yes I am. I'm Dab Regnus, winner of the Z Factor. Z Factor? Oh, I thought you were someone I went to school with. I don't watch that crap. What? Well then. So, what happened to you then? Cowering, whimpering like a baby. When I was out shopping with my mum and dad and they decided to pop into Reggae Records, I was going to go in with them, but I was halfway through a cigar. So I stood outside and finished. You know how it is. Quite. I'm standing outside, puffing away, when all of a sudden some scrap kicks are from reggies. Everyone bolts. The place is packed due to some tarts, new single being released. Everyone's slobbering, like mental patients. It scared the hell out of me. I looked at the crowd, and inside I see my mum and dad, filled with fury, yet dead behind their eyes. Like there's no soul. It freaked me out so much, I bolted here and hit. Uh, I watched everyone 
everyone turn. They get pounced on by a crowd, and then they emerge, changed, inhuman, zombies. This is awful. We need to find my boyfriend. He's a Nobel Prize winner and a male model. He'll know what to do. Okay, can I borrow your phone? I'll light it up. It's ringing. Ad! Ad, are you there? Oh, no. What? What's happened? He's turning. Right now. When Ad was a top scientist at the CIA, he worked on a system whereby the military could control the population in times of civil unrest, either through television or radio signals. Telepathic signals would be broadcast that would make the public susceptible to control, effectively turning them into zombies. This appears to be what he's talking about. The low frequency word being emitted from the background of that phone call appears to be him powering on the anti-hypnosis device he created 